Now, this is the one that everybody is confused about. So I want this to be very uh, clear for you guys. This is called a notary. Yes, that's true. But we are notary signing agents. So a notary signing agent is just a notary. It's a notary, but we are notaries for loans. We are notaries for real estate. We're notaries for anything that has to do with taking out money from a bank. Okay, so first you have to become a notary, right? And then after that- What's up, cuz? It's your favorite country cousin, JT. And do you guys remember, and I'll have my editor put a little flashback in, for those of you that don't, us talking about mobile notary business with Mr. Andre Hatchet and how he kills that business in a good way, right? Meaning he makes a lot of money and so does his students. Well, you know what? I wanna actually go out and find somebody that has seen that content, taken action, and is now a mobile notary. Would that be valuable to you all? Because it's one thing to say, hey, you watch these YouTube videos and it sounds good, but I think I know somebody that is actually taking action. I think her name is Miss Lisa. And you know what? I'm gonna give her a call, see if she'll come by and we'll do a video together and see what her perspective is maybe she'll educate us on the business even more you never know what may happen in this video so stay tuned to the end and without further ado let me call her up what's up us is your boy jt automations back in with another video i'm here again with the second video i'm doing with miss lisa if you missed our first video together be sure to go check it out it'll be a link to it somewhere i'm sure you guys will find it and she gave a whole lot of value on how you can utilize tiktok yes a free app that many of you all already have on your phone. If you don't have the app, you can download the app for absolutely free, but how can you turn that to an asset that can help better you and your business put more dollars in your pocket? But what we're gonna talk about in this video is a little bit more niche specific. We're gonna talk about the notary business. Is it real? And hopefully inspire some of you all to take action. All right, so first and foremost, um, do you mind telling us, for the people that haven't seen the first video, <laughs> yeah. right, a little bit about what's your name and your background? Okay, so my name is Lisa Teote. Um, my background, I am, I'm from New Jersey. I've um, you know, been in North Carolina for about six years. My family is in the military, so that's why I'm, I'm near Fort Liberty. But um, yeah, my business has been here for the most part. So I've been doing notary for about three years. And it was all accidental. So it was mm. not intentional and it is real and I have actually made money from it and that's why I'm still doing it to this day. So it's great. I love it. Right. How was it accidental? Like how you accidentally got into being a notary? Yeah, so uh, when I say accidental, it means I never went out of my way looking to be a notary. Yeah. I didn't even know what a notary was the year before I became a notary. <laughs> so um, I found out that um, I had somebody that I met that was doing notary and he just made a ton of money, but at that time I was just so busy because that's actually the first year in 20, end of 2020, about December when I bought my first house. I bought my first property here um, in the Fable area. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so that's what sparked my interest about real estate in general when I went through that process. And then after that, I came across one of your videos and I was like, oh, okay, I had a friend that just told me about this and then I seen your videos, it was confirmation to actually look into it. Yeah. And then I ended up looking into it, you know, the how you can go is, is rabbit hole and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, really glad that I could play a small part in helping you at least know that it's a business um, for anybody that, that is unclear about making money in a notary uh, as a notary. Right. Like so the stigma, the stereotype, the whatever it is you want to call it is that you can only make five dollars as a notary. What has your experience been like? My experience is that I make more than five dollars as a notary. You're signing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So all jokes aside, um, that is what people are talking about. It's called the general notary public. Mm -hmm. So yes, in North Carolina, they actually raised it to ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so ten dollars per stamp, okay, um, as a mobile general notary public. Mm -hmm. So most people can become a general notary public if you haven't, you know, had any crazy background and you have a clean record, you can become a notary. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's what most people are talking about. But I am a notary, yes, but I took the extra steps to become a notary signing agent. And the extra steps, excuse me, is going to the nationalnotaryassociation.com, clicking signing agent, buying a package, buying your equipment, getting some training, and boom, you're a notary signing agent. And you're making about 150 per signing instead of $5 per signing. All right, great. Hold on one second. I want to show you guys something. Okay, so... Like, I have some documents to be notarized, right? And But my question to you, though, is um, if somebody, a complete stranger, wanted you to notarize this, how much would 
it costs. Like, let's say that they stayed, like, on average, well, on average, how far do you travel to be a notary? Okay, so as a general notary public, because, like I said, two different things. So, um, as a general notary public, I charge for, like, a service fee or travel. Yeah. I just do the legal amount. It's like a, I think it's about 50, 60, I can't think right now. I haven't done general notary in a while. Yep. I actually do more signing agent work. Yeah. So you, it's the government fee is about 56 cents per mile or something like that. But how how many miles will you go? Like what? No, I wouldn't. I just do local. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I just do local. So, so so if you had to go like 10 miles. Yeah, then 56 cents times 10 miles, and then it's plus. Not a lot now. No, it's not. But uh, if you, it can be lucrative as a general notary public if you're willing to like, do it further than you know. <laughs> 10 miles. 10 yeah. Miles. And if you're consistent on like, cause you have to go on Google, right? Mm -hmm. Sign up your business. If you uh, are social media and people know you as a, the notary, you can make a good business out of it. I've known people who've done yeah. it as general notaries. So this is not the right way if you're trying to get rich off of being a notary. It's possible. It just takes longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just takes longer, and it's um, not as lucrative as a signing agent, in my opinion. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's transition to the whiteboard, and then. Like, you can actually show them a breakdown of how it works. Okay, sure. All right. Hey guys, my name is Lisa Teote. I'm here on, on JT's channel. He invited me to break down what it means to be a notary and a notary signing agent because there is a lot of confusion. I am um, a mobile notary myself and I get this all the time that, uh, you know, the question of, can't you just make $5, you know, as a notary? Yes, that's true, but you can make a lot more and I'm going to show you guys how. Okay, so first we're going to start with what a notary is. All right. So let's start here. I'm learning JT's board, so let's see how we can do this. All right, so notary. Okay, so this is what a notary is. A notary is a professional witness, okay? That's how, that's in simple terms how I like to put it because I don't wanna use any fancy big words because I want people to understand what it means. So we are there just to be a witness to the documents, to the people that are there. We wanna make sure that the people who are signing aren't signing under pressure or under any kind of like duress. They are willingly signing and you know, those are who they, you know, the people that they say they are. So you will need to see their documents documents and their IDs okay and make sure it's not expired as well so that's what a notary is how do you become a notary I would suggest to go to the National Notary Association website nna.org every state is different so I always tell people to go to the NNA website because the NNA will tell you how to become a notary public in your state since I'm in North Carolina I had to do a six-hour course okay and I had to get, I had to pay a $50 fee and another $10 fee that was added on there. Okay, I'm just gonna try to type that on there. Let's work this. And I had to pay another $10 fee. Okay, so excuse that. So after I did that, I got sworn in. So let's just do sworn in. And between all of these, when I went to the National Association website, did the six hour class, all of that, that took me about a month to become a general notary public because I was not a general notary public. So this is the one that everybody is talking about. The $5 per stamp, the $10 per stamp, the $15 per stamp, it depends on the state. All right. So this is what everybody's saying. As long as you don't have a bad background, no criminal history or anything like that, the chances of becoming a general notary public, pretty easy, okay? So let's move that that way. So that's what everybody's talking about. Go to the National Notary Association, they'll tell you how to become a general notary public in your state. So that's step number one, that takes about a month or so, all right? They'll send you everything you need to know. So there's that. Now, this is the one that everybody is confused about. So I want this to be very uh, clear for you guys. This is called a notary. Yes, that's true. But we are notary signing agents. So I'll put SA. So a notary signing agent, it's just a notary. It's a notary, but we are notaries for loans. We are notaries for real estate. We're notaries for anything that has to do with taking out money from a bank. Okay, so that is what we are notary for. So we are specialized in this. So first you have to become a notary, right? And then after that, you have to take the extra steps to become a notary signing agent, but you still have to go to the National Notary Association.org and instead of becoming a general notary public, you're not gonna become a notary signing agent, okay? So that's where you're gonna go. So it's the same place. That's gonna be your hub, not org. Okay, so you're still gonna have to go to the nationalnotaryassociation.org and they're gonna help you become a signing agent. I don't wanna break down exactly what it takes because it takes Every state is different and it, there is like shorter steps, longer steps depending on the state. So that's where you're gonna go to become a signing agent. And to become a signing agent, the only difference is that you're gonna have to do a background check. There is gonna have to be a background screening in order to become a notary signing agent that you have to do every single year. So yes, to this day, every year, 
like the year is ending now so in january i will have to do a background check this ensures that you are still clean to do notary signing agent work because like i said you are handling loan documents as a notary signing agent loan documents have people's social security numbers on them it has personal information so they need to make sure that you are trustworthy to handle these documents so that's exactly why they are more strict with notary signing agent work because there is more personal information on those documents and they need to make sure that whoever is handling those documents they trust enough to hire them enough to hire them for their company okay so now that we kind of broke down the difference from notary and notary signing agent i'm going to give you guys a summary of that and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I make money from notary signing agent. So let's see, as a notary public, a lot of people can become this. Most people are notaries, okay? And that's the one you guys are talking about, that's $5 per stamp. People make good money off of it, but it does take a little bit more time because you can, you only make about five to $10 per stamp, but you can charge mileage and you can charge service fees. So you can actually make a pretty decent amount of money with being a general public, notary public, but this is where it's more lucrative and it's a little bit more competitive. All right, so as a notary signing agent, now you took the extra steps, you got a background screening and whatever else the notary, National Notary Association.org told you that you need to do to become a signing agent because that's on their website. Once you become that, that's when you are more trustworthy to do more significant things, which is loan documents, anything that has to do with real estate, anything that has to do with loans and personal information. All right, so now how do notary signing agents get paid? That's the question that everybody wants to know. First, how much we get paid? We get paid about, it starts about $75 per closing through $250. So notary signing agents make about $75 an hour to $250. If you wanna know how to base that is on your area, you do some research, it's a business. Um, when you start a franchise, how do you know how to charge? You know how to charge because of what your neighbors are charging, right? So you just try to be competitive. So in my area, a lot of notaries are charging $75 an hour to $250. So I'm not going to go out of my way and charge $350 because it wouldn't make sense for my business, especially if I'm a new business. I wouldn't charge more than local notaries are charging, right? I want to be competitive. So when I'm new, I might want to start with $65, okay? Because I want to be competitive. I want to start growing my business. For the most part, this is where they're charging. How we get business? We get business. What I love about being a notary is that, or a notary signing agent, I have to be specific so I don't confuse you guys. A notary signing agent is that the business really starts coming to you, okay? As long as you are signing up with companies, which are called signing services, who are already looking for notaries, you will start getting business. So that is where I want to start with you guys. They are called signing services. So signing services are where a lot of notaries signing agents start like me and I still get a lot of business from signing services. So signing services are the middleman. So I'm gonna break this down like this. They are the middleman for the notary, okay? So they're looking for you already. They're already looking for you. So they're already, you're, the business is already there. They're looking for you. You just need to go sign up on those databases like SnapDoc, Signing Order, 123notary.com, and a bunch of others. I have some on my channel that you guys, and my page that I do a lot of different videos about. So if you guys wanna know what exact companies, I have those on my page. So they are already looking for notaries, all right? Now, the other people who are looking for notaries as well, but they don't know where to find notaries, are the lending companies, okay? Or title companies, or escrow companies. They have different names. But for the most part, this is the person who is giving out the loan, okay? So for example, if you're buying a house and you're talking to a lender, a lender is looking for a notary. But the lender doesn't have time to go on Google and find notaries. So they're just gonna call a signing service that they have on hand. A signing service, excuse me, that I work for is called BankServe. So they'll call BankServe, which is the signing service. BankServe will call me, okay? And then once BankServe's called me, which is the notary, I will be helping the lender's client. So let's break this down a little bit more so that you guys can understand. Let me recap. The signing service, let's say BankServe, because that's the company that I work with a lot, is actually looking for a notary already, okay? Because they have somebody that is looking for a notary as well but the signing service is the middleman so we break that down the lender just wants their, their documents notarized that's all they want just find me a notary so you can notarize these documents and bring it back to me okay we have a deadline by tomorrow so they found me i called the client that they need the documents done for and i confirm a time i confirm a place i meet with the, their client and i get the documents done i'm also the one who prints it out i'm also the one who drives to them 
I do everything. I'm the courier, quote unquote, okay? So that actually goes hand in hand with JT's channel since that's what he did in the past. So I'm pretty much a courier for notary. So they're trusting me with these documents to make sure that I get it back in time to FedEx to ship off the next day to get it back to them so they can close. So that's why we get paid about 75 to 250 because this, this is an important job. We need to get this done at a deadline and it's important documents that needs to close. All right, so that is what's going on. So that is the reason why we get paid, quote unquote, so much to people and people think it's a scam. But this is exactly why we get paid so well because we are the courier, we are driving, we are making sure that everything gets to the person, the lender actually, on time, okay? So that, I hope that makes a little bit more sense to you guys. But yeah, so for the most part, we get paid average of $100. It's usually about $100 for me. When it's $250, it's, it's going to be $250 because you're working directly with the lender. Okay, so the lender is directly calling you. And I have a stack of pages because the pages are about 100 pages minimum. Okay? And um, you have to drive there. You have to do a bunch of different things. So obviously, that's going to be, you know pretty pricey because you're driving depending on how far it is so it does it does go up based on that other than that I think that answers the basic question of how much we get paid what a notary signing agent is and how we get business we get business through a signing service that's how we get business but there's another way this is the last way and then we'll wrap this one up because this is the last way the last way is direct signing so with direct signings all you're doing is as the notary instead of going through the signing service, you are going straight to the lender, okay? So you are literally going out of your way in the public, you're going to attorney's offices, realtors, whoever is looking for a notary that is in the real estate industry or the lending industry, whoever is looking for a notary, you're going directly to them, you're directly marketing to them, and that's how you get the big bucks, okay? So that's what people strive for. But signing services are good as well because they pay you about $100 but they do get a cut. So they'll charge the lending company about 250 and they'll give the notary about $100. That's not a bad deal, considering that they're bringing you business. You do make the big bucks going direct and you also can make the quote unquote big bucks by actually being the signing service. So that's what a lot of people do as well. A lot of notaries scale their business to a point where they don't wanna be the notary, the courier anymore. They're tired of being a courier, they're tired of driving around and hustling. So now they are the signing service this is the notary. Now the notary has become the signing service and that's how they make the really big bucks. Okay. So that's how they make the really big bucks because the notary has decided to become the signing service. And so the notary is finding other notaries to do the job for them. So that's how people are doing it. So I hope this made a little bit of sense for you guys. I'm new to this board, so I'm trying to work with it. But that is why notaries make about $75 to $250 because we are couriers and we're handling important documents. Hope that helped.